Hi there, I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland Real Estate here in Prince Edward Island, Canada. And today is part number seven of our multi-part series on why you should take the time to drive down to Sunbury Cove Estates. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos, one through six, check out my uh, YouTube account. Um, they all cover a different fact. Take the time to subscribe to my videos, which is in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen if you're watching this video on YouTube. And make sure you join the mailing list when you go to Sunbury Cove Estates. So today, we're discussing why Sunbury Cove Estates is real waterfront. One thing you're going to find, and I've learned in the last 13 years of doing uh, PEI real estate, is just about everything is considered waterfront or water view. Now, sometimes the water view, and this is an actual real case, uh, was only viewable by going into the master bedroom ensuite and standing on the back of the toilet and looking at the very, very top of the window you could see the water in the distance. Um, we actually had a house like that. That was a water view property. Now, waterfront, on the other hand, could be anything. It could be a pond, a stream, it could be the ditch in front of the house is filled that day because they had a lot of rain over the last two or three days. One thing you're going to find in Sunbury Cove Estates is its true waterfront with a true beach. Not only do you have um, ocean or strait, you have a bay and you also have a natural uh, wetland to the east. Um, so it's, it's true waterfront. And the other thing that makes it unique is there's no obstructions. A lot of times in PEI you'll find beautiful waterfront property with a beautiful sandy white beach or red beach or pink beach and there'll be a 20 foot sand dune in front of the beach. Well, unless you're going to build your house, you know, about six stories high and you want to climb over that sand dune every time you want to get to the beach, it's probably more preferable if you could see it from your house that's on ground level. So there, you know, you can, you can see the water from your house on ground level here. There are no obstructions. Um, additionally, some waterfront in PEI, um, there is legislation that you cannot remove the trees along the shore because when you do, it causes the shore to erode. So in Sunbury Cove's case, um, that's not the case either. So you don't have any trees obstructing your view either. Um, the bank size. In PEI, it's hard to, hard to believe, but there are banks and by bank I mean the distance between the the grass that you're walking on or where you're building down to the the beach or the shore and in some places in PEI it can be 90 feet or more. Uh, in Sunbury Cove the bank is anywhere from probably a foot and a half to maybe six or seven feet at the worst. So the worst case scenario, you're either walking to an area that's a foot and a half off the ground to get down to the beach or you're building a very small set of stairs. It's pretty tough building stairs for a 90 foot bank. In fact, even if you did, it'd be like walking up, you know, nine stories every time you need to get to the beach and back and forth. Probably an elevator would be more appropriate. Um, the, the lots in Sunbury Cove, some are treed, some are untreed. So if your preference is for trees, great. If it's for not, we have those too. Um, red sand. Um, there is some white sand in the uh, natural wetland to the east. And we also have a freshwater stream bordering the property on the west, which would be perfect for uh, kayaking or walks or, or whatever the case may be. The beach is not covered in rocks. You'll notice certain parts of the island uh, particularly the further western and eastern tips, the beach is nothing but rock because the erosion is so high it's dug into the uh, into the bedrock. So there's none of that in Sunbury Cove. 99% of it is, is sand. Um, there's a very gradual grade uh, on the beach. So it's not like you're going to walk out six feet and then plummet to your death if you can't swim. It's a very gradual uh, gradual beach and on low tide it probably goes out several hundred or a couple thousand feet. On the bay it's a little less of a gradual uh, drop which is perfect for storing your boat, watercraft, um, or going swimming or uh, clam digging or whatever. 
and um, the subdivision, the oceanfront lots are all southern exposure. Uh, so that's uh, that's a huge plus. The majority of the waterfront lots are southern, and the and the water view lots. And the way it works at Sunbury Cove is when you enter the subdivision, you're probably about 20 feet above sea level, and then obviously at the water, you're at zero. Um, so there's a very very gradual slope to the whole property so that even the people that have the water view lots which are priced really competitively have and always will have phenomenal panoramic views not only in front of you but the majority of the lots you'll have water views out of every window front back and side which is extremely rare um, so that's you know basically it um, it's the only property I know of that's down a uh, private 3.2 kilometer road so there's only one access road, there's really no traffic, and there's really nothing around it other than a few thousand acres of uh, forested land and some farmland. And I cover that in depth in one of the previous videos. So that's it for today. Make sure you go to sunburycove.com. Make sure you also subscribe to my videos at the bottom right on YouTube. And be sure to join our mailing list on the website. Thank you, and have a great day.